It's a fully autonomous robot. Everything's computer controlled. This is the future, it's here. People are saying things that weren't available six months ago, let alone two years ago. Artificial intelligence is the way of the future, only getting better by the minute. This is a, an AI-based machine learning platform that has a very good ability to take pictures of plants or the crops we want to keep and open up mechanical blades around the plants we want to keep and close after the plant and cultivate and remove weeds. High-tech cameras are the eyes of the robot, and the brain is pretty close to that of what a farmer would be tasked to do. This is all based on digital camera technology. It, it, we take the pictures, and then the pictures are fed into a computer, and the computer analyzes the pictures and decides what's, what to do on the field after. So going one, two, three, four miles an hour, it takes a picture, and um, a quarter second later, it decides it's turning on and off a sprayer. It's deciding whether to open a blade to weed around a plant or not, and it's working that fast. So why does weeding matter? Weeding is so important because one weed can produce tens of thousands of weeds from the seeds. So you got to get into these fields uh, before they set flower and set seed. Um, and with labor concerns, with the cost of labor and the quality of labor as well, um, these machines that you're going to see out here today are crucial for the, the success of farming. So removing weeds, um, it's obviously detrimental to plants. It's stealing nutrients and stealing, most importantly, water, where water is a critical resource currently. Weeds give growers a year-round challenge, and with labor shortages, there aren't enough workers to consistently hand weed every field. That's where technology comes into play. It's really helped with consistency of thinning compared to hand crews and it's also saved money uh, on the farm on a cost per acre basis. Each machine is customizable for the spacing of the beds and type of crop. Everything's adjustable on, on each individual height, you know, working depths, closeness. Um, you can adjust all of it in the menu as far as how close to the plant you will go. Mapping the field usually, depending on the size, takes anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 minutes. Um, that just uh, revolves around taking a point on each bed so the machine knows where it's going and it knows where to do the U-turns and then it will come back into the next bed. One weeding robot was invented by two men in France and now these popular machines split the year moving through fields in Salinas and Yuma. These machines cost anywhere from fifty to seventy thousand dollars if you purchase them in elsewhere countries. Here in the U.S. we're not able to sell them so we use them as a service here. So as a service it typically it's cost per acre and these machines are fully electric. They can do between uh, six to eight acres in a day per machine for about 10 hour runtime. They plug into the wall to charge, just like an electric car. And these machines are fully electric driven, so they're very quiet, so they're easy to use in like, you know, especially here in Yuma, there's a lot of fields around residential neighborhoods. You don't have to deal with the loudness of a diesel tractor anymore. Other robots run entirely on their own, with one farm worker there for quality control. This machine is mostly autonomous with one operator and a tablet walking behind the machine and um, keeping an eye at the, on the quality perspective as the machine runs. Technology in ag has been in a trial and error process for around 50 years, but now they have just as much brain power as a computer, if not more. Um, the type of algorithms and software that we're running have previously only been used in software applications and um, this is really kind of the first ability to use it in the ground for farmers. Preventative weeding has also shown to be effective with another machine that uses steam to run through the fields before planting. The purpose behind this is to heat the soil to a, a fairly high temperature, about 140 degrees, to kill the weed seed and the, uh, the pathogen. As you might imagine, this is a, a pretty intensive uh, process. So the idea we're researching is the concept of banned steam. The steam treats the seed line where it's most important to kill the weed roots. The crops can then be planted 24 hours after the band steam. We have some uh, plots that we treated uh, about four weeks ago and you can see some pretty visual differences between treated and untreated. Technology has come a long way, but robots are still only in their infant stages as a farm worker replacement. These are more consistent, um, and I think the technology is there, but in the next couple years, 
it's going to be getting lighter and more efficient, and uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of this out on the farm. Thorough collaboration, farmers and computer engineers are on the right track to overcoming the never-ending weed control and labor shortages. Reporting in Yuma, April Hedinger, News 11.